free climbing big roots, for you know, climbing big granite, you got to embrace all styles of climbing because you can really have anything on on a big wall. You can have you know, straight in crack climbing. You can have really technical slabby face climbing, and you can even have huge roofs. And you know you need to be able to do everything from endurance pitches to short powerful bouldery sections. You gotta be prepared for that. What inspires me the most to continue to push myself in rock climbing is a couple of things. One is the sort of the perpetual challenge that you can find through the sport. You can push yourself to no end, to, to no limit. And I think that's really cool. You can never really plateau. A lot of people will tell you they think they've plateaued in climbing, but you're always learning, even if you're not getting stronger. The other thing that keeps me really excited for rock climbing is the never-ending quest uh, for first ascents. A big component of what keeps me psyched is just the exploring aspect of it. Just going out, walking a cliff, looking for a new route, going to a place like this, middle of nowhere, looking for new lines on a big wall to do. That's what keeps me most excited about it. You gotta be honest with your threshold for physical output and uh, physical and mental stress and what your body can take before it sort of just uh, gives up, which you know I've definitely experienced a number of occasions. It's not always going to be fun, you know, it's going to be type 2 fun, but you got to make sure it's at least going to be fun afterwards. If you, have, if you lose toes or you get a hypothermic, that's yeah, not going to be type 2 fun. That's just going to suck. For me, what really sets first ascent apart from the other competitors is the strong athlete guide involvement with product design, product testing, product development. For me, that's really the only way you're going to have a solid product, is if you have that input from athletes and guides who know what it's like to suffer in bad clothing in alpine terrain, and they know what they want on, on apparel and gear. And so really, for me, it's a no-brainer.